let's get started. <laughs> I don't know how I look, but uh, removing the transmission by yourself is really hard. So I started about two hours ago and you know, I removed everything and uh, there we go. Transmission's out all by myself under on the floor. No excuses, no excuses. I don't know what kind of clutch the car has, but it's gonna get removed. Let me get this out of here. And there it is, the uh, W58, the five speed is out. This car is no longer a five speed. I'm gonna get the clutch and flywheel removed and see if we can find out what was broken. I'm not sure if it was the uh, transmission. I mean, I'm, it goes through the gears fine. Uh, it's just, it was that, that noise. They were like chattering, so it might be the clutch. So I'm gonna get the clutch removed, get the flywheel removed, get everything cleaned and prepped for what we have coming for it. Um, but yeah, I'm just glad that this is out of the car. All right, you guys, so I was trying not to bore you guys with uh, showing you, you know, the removal, which is pretty self explanatory. You remove the exhaust, you remove the drive shaft, you undo everything here from the interior on the shifter. You undo all the belt, the belt house bolts. Then you do the brace for the transmission. You slide it back and you drop it. But this, I do want to show you. I was getting started removing this and check this out. This uh, shouldn't move like that at all. You guys see that? Huh. Well, that doesn't want to come off. Interesting. Wow, you got to be freaking kidding me. Look at this. The freaking, the flywheel bolts are coming out. Look at all those metal shavings. Oh my God. I really hope you guys can see this. It looks like the, even the bolts were hitting the, the, the clutch, the clutch plate. That is insane. Wow. No wonder this thing was trash. Oh my God, look at how, look at how these bolts are. Jesus, I hope that's not, oh my God, this isn't good. You gotta be kidding me. They're not even, oh, my hands are shaking. They're not even held on there. Oh wow. I can loosen them all with my hand. Every single one of them is loose. Oh boy, this isn't good. All right, so 
after a few days, fix the issue. Let me show you guys what happened. So, this is like an eBay style clutch, right? The disc doesn't appear to be damaged, but whenever those bolts backed out, they were hitting here. You can see where they were hitting. Check this out. And whenever that happened, the bolts, so they're going straight like this, but they were like slanted. So it damaged the threads within, side, within the crank. And uh, that is something that is extremely, extremely frustrating. And not only that, but whenever you have to fix something like that, especially fixing threads on a crank where the hole goes straight through and you can get metal shavings inside the block, trust me, that is not something I had even patience for to record. So let me just show you guys these pictures. And this is off my phone. This is something that I was doing just so I can get a better view. Um, but as y'all see in this first picture, on the first picture you will see how the first three or four threads were completely gone. Uh, I mean, they were non-existent. It was all smoothed out. And, uh, you know, I thought it was just that. I thought it was just the first few threads. So then, you know, I decided to, you know, see if I, I was talking to my brother. And then I was also talking to Joel from uh, Grandest Racing and seeing if, uh, you know, maybe I could just use the threads in the in the back. You know, the, the I think it was maybe like 70% of the threads in the back were still good. So I thought. Um, so I proceeded to try and get a bolt in there, but it was so smoothed out the bolt wouldn't go through. So I was like, you know what, screw it. So I started to try and tap the threads out again. Of course, you have to put a lot of grease around the on around the the around the tap uh, because if you don't put grease, uh, then you run the chance of sh metal shavings falling into the back, and then that gets sucked up into the oil, and that you know that can cause catastrophic fa failure. That can cause catastrophic failure, so you guys can imagine how nervous I was. Um, so I was doing like maybe <laughs> a quarter of an inch at a time, barely moving, maybe even less than that, just barely moving it, making the thread, making one thread, pulling back, making a second thread, pulling back, just making sure there was no metal shavings going into it. Um, so then here from this next picture, you'll see that I was able to create the threads uh, that were gone. But as you can tell, since the bow was angled down, it had damaged the threads in the back too. And as you'll see, there's some flat spots there. Um, so then at that moment, that's when I that's when I decided to make a thread chaser bolt. And uh, let me show you guys what that looks like. This is a thread chaser bolt. Basically, just take like a, you know, like a cutting wheel, and you're gonna make these slots. And this is basically gonna, this is basically gonna help reshape those threads um so then as you'll see from the next picture i was able to again putting and let me show you guys again these little slots there you fill them in with grease so any if any metal shavings anything comes down it'll get caught in the grease and uh again a little bit little bit at a time um and as you'll see on this next picture i was able to make all the threads and uh, now the bolts, now the bolts go in just as much as every other hole. So uh, there you go. That was that was me taking a few hours, slowly, slowly making this progress because this is something that you cannot, absolutely cannot get any metal shavings or anything fall into the back because uh, that's uh, pretty much the end of the motor. So at the same time, whenever I was doing all that, I did have the shop back going. Every tiny bit that went in, I went back out, cleaned off the threads of the of the tap or the thread chaser, and vacuumed everything. It was extremely, extremely time consuming, um, but it's the old me would have been like, screw it, I'm just gonna push it all the way through. Uh, but then probably just a few days later, I would have probably would have blown up the motor. Uh, so lesson for you guys: take your time take your time even if it takes you another day or no, another two days uh at the end of the day it's gonna save you a lot of time so as frustrating as that was um you know i got it fixed so lesson 
take your time be patient and uh all that hardware looks like ebay stuff uh i mean i'm not saying there's anything bad like about that but maybe that person didn't even use any loctite i'm pretty sure he didn't use any loctite i don't even think he torqued them down he probably just put them with his fingers Ugh. but all right guys transmissions out exhaust is off transmissions off uh now it's time to uh, get busy installing the new stuff. So stay tuned for the next video and y'all are going to see what's coming for this baby.